Here is Israel. Hi, my name is Craig Dershowitz and I am the Executive Director of Artists for Israel. Artists for Israel officially uses the arts to support, provide awareness about, and educate about Israel. What we really do is bring people to the country, artists, let them see what's going on here, and then allow them to use their unique talents to express what they've learned, the beauties they've witnessed, the freedoms they've, they've been able to use from their own artistic creation, the people they've met, and to share that message with their own communities. They've done so through a variety of different art forms. We've done theater, we've done photography, uh, pretty much everything you can name. Uh, what we're most famous for, and the reason we're standing here today, is our graffiti team. We are perhaps the, the biggest and most diverse graffiti gang, posse, crew, whatever you want to call it, in the world. We have artists from every country. We have crews of graffiti artists that normally don't even associate with each other, that have joined forces to come on these projects. And we, because of that, gotten to see all of Israel from the north to the south, the huge diversity of the country, and we've been able to spread that message to every corner of the globe. So the first time that we came here as an organization was uh, right during Operation Cast Lead. That was after Israel had withdrawn from the Gaza Strip and they were being bombed on a regular basis for no good reason. And we said, listen, we're a small organization. We're basically just out of college and college age kids. We didn't have the ability to get involved in the politics. We didn't have the ability to stop the war. Um, what we did was we recognized a need. We had a part of Israel that had been turned ugly. It had been affected by rocket attacks. People had had to leave because of that. You don't spend much time tending to your garden or doing public art when there are rockets falling on you every day. So we said, this is what we know how to fix. Let's make something that, that is now ugly and let's make it beautiful. So we were able to convince a number of artists from around the world. And we did something that's quite important. It's something we do all the time, which is we said, listen, we're not gonna give you a political spiel. I have my own personal politics. Others in the org have different opinions. I said, you're gonna come to Israel, you're gonna see it for yourself, and that's gonna be the political stance you come away with. But in the meantime, we're gonna do something very good. We're gonna make something ugly pretty, and more directly, we were gonna turn these bomb shelters, which are terrifying to see, even when you're not in them, what a horrible reminder it is of what's going on. We're gonna turn them into giant canvases for artwork. And what better way to do it, what other artists are as fearless and as able to transform a landscape as quickly as graffiti and street artists. So in 2009, the end of 2009, I believe it was, we brought them here, and a couple of amazing things happened that we had never expected. First of all, the main issue, we painted 50 bomb shelters. So within a week, we turned the landscape into literally the, the entire city into one of the main artistic centers of Israel. We're talking, you know, in my humble opinion, rivaling Tel Aviv and Yushalayim. Um, these artists came back and said, I need to express this to the rest of the world. So some did exhibitions at art galleries. We even had somebody who made a mobile art, uh, mobile bomb shelter. And we've had people time and time ask us to come back. I think Israel now is considered one of the top five, if not top two or three destinations for graffiti artists. Because from the conversations and dialogues that we sparked, people have learned that this is not just a militaristic culture, that this is not just a religious culture, that this is not just whatever they read on the news. They've gotten a, a sense of the humanity of this country and they've realized that it's a place where arts can flourish. The important thing to note about the arts and it being having a, a big home in here and something that Artists for Israel likes to explain to people all the time is Israel has incredible freedoms and because of that that is the basis upon which true creation is, is able and is allowed. In graffiti, which, you know, we say stay up, keep getting up, like just push it, do it your way. Here is Israel.